Hi guys, today I will show you how to import Google Earth data into 3ds Max as a 3D model. It's extremely useful to be able to import this kind of data into 3D software. Recently, I did a camera matching tutorial where I used the Google Earth model to adjust the camera to the photography. We'll need some additional software to do this, so let's start with that. All the links will be in the description below this video. We will be using Blender with an add-on called Maps Model Importer by Ily Mitchell. The add-on is free and can be used with the Blender 3.4 version. You can download it here. The version 3.4 of Blender can be found here. Remember, all the links will be in the description below the video. The last software we have to install is RenderDoc. Here we cannot use the newest version either. The version we have to use is version 1.25. After you install the software, we have to adjust the Google Chrome browser. If you use a different browser, you have to install Google Chrome as well. Then go to the folder where Chrome is installed and create a shortcut on your desktop. Next, go to the properties. We have to edit the target here. You'll also find this code in the description below the video. We have to paste this part before. And this code after. You also have an example of how it's supposed to look. Great! Next, let's launch the render doc software. First thing we have to do is to make sure that the process injection is enabled in the settings. If not, enable it and restart the software. Then, let's open the Chrome. The window will be white and you will have this pop-up window with the code. In Render Doc, we have to go to the file and click Inject into process. Then, type this number here. Select the Chrome.x and click Inject. Click OK. API should be active and you should see this information on top of the Chrome. All is set, now we can open the Google Earth website. Find the location you want to export. I want to have these models. The area visible in the browser will be exported. If you want more buildings, you have to zoom out but the file will be heavy and it will take longer. Once you have the area, go to the render dock and click Capture Frames immediately. Wait a little bit. Here it is. You can see it's almost 50 megabytes. To export it, select it, go to the file and click Save Capture. Great, now we have to import the model to Blender. Firstly, we have to install the add-on. Go to Edit, Preferences and Atoms. Click Install and choose the download file. Here it is. We have to enable it though. Now, if we go to File and Import, we can see the Google Maps Capture option at the bottom. Choose the capture file you saved in Render Doc. And here is the model. You can see it has all the textures as well. To load it into 3ds Max, we have to export it as FBX. Let's jump to 3ds Max. Import the model. The maps are not linked, I will add the path. Great! It's not ready yet. The scale is not correct. I will measure the distance. Let's say here. Then I will go back to Google Earth and measure the same distance. If I divide these two values, I will know how much I have to scale the model. We have to scale it more than 20 times. 
The model contains a lot of parts. We have to attach it all first. Now let's scale the model. Keep in mind that in 3ds Max we use percentages, so it will be more than 2000%. And here it is, the Google Earth model in 3ds Max in the right scale. Hope you like this video. If you want to learn all about architectural visualizations and animations, check out our online courses or watch more videos here on YouTube. Bye-bye!